Hello all, welcome to orotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we customize a standard PO PDF report in Oracle Fusion. So let's get into the steps. The first thing we have to understand is where exactly the standard PO report resides. This is available in the location shared procurement purchasing and the report name is purchase document PDF report. You can observe here, the location is shared folders procurement purchasing and the report name is purchase order PDF report. And also make sure that you navigate to the catalog via XMLP server, not analytics. Remember, you have to navigate to this particular BI report via XMLP server logic. So now coming to the next thing is, once you find out your PO PDF report, click on more, click on customize, once you click on customize, you could observe here, you'll be navigated to the same PO PDF report, which is, will be copied into custom procurement purchasing purchase order report. So what is happening here is by default, you will not have any content in the custom folder, but whenever you click on customize on the standard report, which is available in the shared folder, the total copy of this report will get copied into custom slash the same set of path like custom procurement purchasing and then you'll have a report here purchase order report xdevo now let us get to the next step once you once you performed the customized once you click on the customize button navigate to this location it will be in the shared folders custom procurement purchasing you could observe your purchase order report again and then what you do is just click on edit and then you upload your custom template. So what you can do is if you at all, if you want to, rather than designing it from scratch, you can find out the list of existing standard template. You can modify the existing one and you can just play around with that. Or else you can design it from scratch, but generally, ideally the best practice is you get a standard template, modify wherever it is required and just upload the custom template. So now here, just simply click on upload and upload your custom template and then once your custom template is uploaded, then what you can do is you have to configure this custom template at the BU level. So now what we do is we will be navigating to the task called configure procurement business function. And there, once you click on this particular task, you click on your respective business unit. And once you click on that, you navigate to the tab called document types and for which document type you have modified the report. So we have modified our template for the purchase order PDF. Click on purchase order and you should be able to observe the custom template in the document layout. Select the layout, click on save and close. And once you perform the save and close, you can navigate to your purchase order PDF. You can navigate to your purchase order screen and then find out your purchase order. Simply click on view PDF. You can observe the latest custom template in the output. Okay, now let us see these particular steps one by one again. So I'll navigate to the Fusion instance. The first thing what we have to do is, so we'll navigate to the standard folder. Like here, remember here, I'm in the XMLP server path. So click on home, I'll click on catalog and click on shared folders, shared folders, purchase order, oh, sorry, procurement, then purchase order or purchasing, procurement, purchasing and then purchase order PDF. Right, this is the one purchase order PDF report. So just click on more and click on customize. Once you click on customize, what will happen is the total report will get copied into the same path, but with a custom folder, nothing but in the custom folder, you'll find procurement and purchasing. So I'll just click on customize and see what will happen now. So once I click on customize, what happened was, what happened is it went into the custom procurement purchasing automatically. If it is already available, it will simply go there. If it is not available, it will totally perform a replica. So here you could observe that, you could observe that you already have XXPO report because I already did the customization. Now let us say I want to do it from scratch. Assume that you are in this custom folder now. What you can do is you click on view as a list, take any of the standard template or you can dis upload your custom template. I prefer to take one of the existing standard template. Let us say I'll take this particular purchase order layout version two, and I'll take this RTF file and I will copy into my custom location. I'll just do a duplicate so that I'll have a backup always. So what I'll do is I'll name it as XX order purchase order layout version two like this. Open that RTF template. And here I'll click on enable editing. 
So here, what I'll do is I don't want to modify anything as of now. Okay, so I'll just simply, yeah, I'm in the header section now, custom PO template. I'll just add up custom PO template and uh, just give this some color and I'll just make it as centered. That's it, close it. Now what we do is, so our template is modified. So we'll just navigate here. I click on add new template, click on create here, click on upload. Now select the template file, the RTF file. And then you can mention the layout name. So I'll just go with this name, XXORA purchase layout version two. And the template type is RTF, local as English and click on upload. So once the template is uploaded, the next step is we have to modify the configuration by in the task list for this particular particular view. So now I'll just navigate to the setup and maintenance, click on search. And here, what we do is we have to navigate to this particular function, configure procurement business function, configure procurement business function. And here it will ask you to mention the business unit. I'll just go with US one business unit, click on okay. And then click on the second tab once the page gets open. Document types and the document types you select purchase order. Purchase order. Now you should be able to see the latest template which we uploaded just now. And here you have to select the latest one XXORA purchase layout version 2. Click on save. Now what we can do is you can navigate to the purchase order now. So I'll just try to navigate from scratch. So I'm in the home screen now. So I'll click on. Procurement. Purchase order. Click on any of the existing PO or you can create a new PO. I'll just open my existing PO. Click on view PDF. Once you click on view PDF, it will automatically download the PDF. Just wait for a couple of seconds. So here you can see, right? The, it is the page is processing, right? Until unless it finishes, the processing is finished, you cannot see the PDF. Yes, now it got downloaded. So open the PDF and let's see what happens. Yep, perfect. So we are able to see the custom template, the version two template, right? So this is how we can modify the template. So as of now in this session, we just discussed only the modification of template. We have not discussed the modification of data model. We'll discuss about the modification of data model in the next step, in the next session. Okay. So, yep, this is how we can modify the layout or uh, customize the standard layout. And there's a very two important points to be noted. The first thing is make sure that you, whenever you want to customize the report, you have to navigate slash XMLP server. And then you require appropriate roles. Generally, these are the roles required BI publisher data model developer role. BI other role or the BI consumer role to be added to your respective user while modifying this particular one, right? So thank you.